So welcome back to the Duelist Kingdom PvP event in Duel Links. This one's been away for a while, but now it's back. And it's one of the best PvP events because it combines PvP and PvE and gives some unique formula to rank duels in a way. The main thing, of course, is the Pegasus rewards in the event, right? It makes this worth playing more than ranked in the season it's in because you're getting more gems, more card drops, hopefully. And we're going in with Chronomaly. Now, we've been doing very, very well in the event. I mean, I'm at like, what, 1400 stars, right? So we do pretty good. And we're against the Quinton, which could be Cosmo, it could be someone playing the standard, you know, uh, rank 9 machine, spacecraft deck or whatever. We'll see. We'll see. We're playing the lights. He's playing water plus. Okay, that's not going to be the machine thing then. But we've got the pretty standard economy board, right? We've got the Nebra Disc. Nebra Disc can go search off for our lovely copy of, where is it? The Crystal Skull. We can then go and play our Crystal Skull. Dumping that to the graveyard to go and search out a copy of the Moai. And then we'll just summon our two Moai. Now, unfortunately, we've only got two Prismatics. So uh, that does kind of suck and make the deck a little bit not optimal. But we go in here, play our skill gateway, which is going to send a card from my extract to the graveyard. So we're going to send the rank 5 to make all our guys on field level 5. And then we'll go and make our brand new Chronomaly Vimana, which is going to be a monster friend negation. And it can make itself stronger every time. So, uh... It's pretty good, and also it's good for dodging DD Crow. So, uh, that's really nice given the, you know, people playing it because of Orcast, right? So, let's go and set the Branch Blast, let's go and set the Fin Lance, and that is probably one of the better turns you can get with Chronomaly, right? Is having a big body, your Negate, you've got your uh, Branch Blast to detach materials to pop cards on the field, so potentially up to three pops is pretty crazy. But let's see what Quinton has in store for us with a, oh, a 30 card deck on water. Could be Mermail Atlantean, right? If I'm thinking about what you said, or Christrons, it could be Christrons. Ooh, that would not be a fun matchup, actually. I'm not a fan of that one. And he's going to scoop, of course he is. Let's go and find another game. So he was playing, he was playing, it was Orcust on draw set on water. Wait, wait, huh? I'm confused, but... Sure. I guess he may have opened like the uh, the normal summon right. If I negate normal summon, and all cast can't really do too much, and so that might have been a free win for us. MDY Feiju VK from China. Let's see, Reginald, an another water player. This one makes sense, right? It could be your normal territory of the sharks. It could be your shark drake vice OTK. Let's see, and hopefully we can go second maybe this time. We've got going second, right? Yep, yeah, we do. And okay, we've opened two Moai <laughs> and a Tusk Rocket, which isn't the best, right? Because Tusk Rocket dumps out your level four and then it kind of turns off your last if you summon back from the graveyard. So not the best, but he's playing Swap Frog into Ronin Toadin. He's going to go for the full sprite combo. He's going to make totally awesome. He's playing Master Duel. Okay, discarding Fishborg Lancer. And he's playing on the, the water terrain plus 600, right? So he's going to be getting... A ton of attack points more than I am. And that's kind of the thing, right? So every day you've got a brand new challenge because some decks are being stronger than others, right? Just in pure power wise. And so let's see. Linking off into the Coral Anime. So I've not really played this deck since Coral Anime came out. So I'm not too sure what the whole line of plays are, but it seems like this <laughs> this fishborg is putting in some work, right? In just being a body on board. In four Seas of Abyss Dweller. Okay, very nice. That is pretty decent, pretty decent. Now, that does kind of shut down our graveyard a little bit, but we can kind of bait out that interaction, right? So, let's go for the Tusper Rocket, and we'll go and dump to the graveyard a copy of the Nebra Disc. Now, so now, any card effects activate in your graveyard can be activated that turn, which is fine, because we've got a Moai. And so we just kind of waste this. He's gone for his... Oh, no, he's, gone for, he's got the pop, yeah. I completely... Wouldn't matter anyway, right? Because we... Oh, really? Yeah, that sucks. That just, uh, that, that just, that just sucks. You know, uh, that's a, that, that's an easy scoop. On to game number three. Honestly, game number three. Oh, Apprentice from Brazil playing the Utok. So Phantom Knights, nice, potentially Odd Eyes. Of course, they're getting a brand new skill in the Raging Dragon and the Strux deck, which looks pretty cool. We're getting a free copy of that, by the way, which is going to be really, really nice. But let's see Uto with the uh, the Kaiba collab sleeves. He's got the Earth environment on, so 
maybe not Phantom Knight. And we didn't open the best, right? Of course, having two back row is great. But uh, in terms of core deck cards, we kind of want to see not what, not two copies in every deck, right? But for next turn, it's pretty decent. So let's go for our Moai. We'll then go play our skill to go and dump to the graveyard. Again, a copy of the rank 5 Machu Mech. And then we can just go and make our Chronomaly Vimana and just sit on that. And if he's got a Phantom Knight card, we can negate it. If he's got... Ah, uh, Orcus. It, it, it could be Orcus, right? It could be a 20 card Orcus variant, and uh, that, that that could be it. This could be a very good going first deck against Orcus, but we'll see. We'll see what he's got. We've got protection against spell cards, we've got effect negation, we've got a bounce. Okay, Yuto, show me what you've got. Gonna be playing Book of Moon? Okay. First and foremost, makes sense. Let's just go and play our Lance to. Make it so we survive that interaction. Hopefully there's no Book of Moon hand as well. There's something you can chain. A second Book of Moon, are you serious? Okay, well... Okay, right, we've got... Our compulsory's got to come in clutch now. It's just got to go crazy. Whatever the summon is, we've got to have it. So... <sighs> that is frustrating. Madolce Magellene. Okay, adding Madolce from deck to hand... Um, we're going to let that one live, because I believe he gets out the special summon, right? And then we can bounce it back to the hand, then he can't do anything. I'm pretty sure that's how that works, right? Okay, so there's Penning Sessa. Penning Sessa can summon herself out, and then she can summon out a card from hand or deck. Oh, I forgot about that bit. I forgot. Now, we can, of course, wait for the Xyz to come out, bounce that, and it's equally fine, right? So, here comes out the Pudding Sess. Okay, very nice. Go on, go for your Xyz. Just, let's just, uh, I hope that I'm not wrong and I can target it. I'm pretty sure I can, because that'd be kind of ridiculous if Dolce did get something they couldn't target. In for Glass Souffle. Okay. Uh, monster effects, very nice. Okay. Compulsory, get sent back to your hand. Sorry, you're not getting off your big combos for special summoning. It's not happening. But, um, it, or, or, it, it, it might be. <laughs> it might be it's going to make his, uh, his magic unaffected. Just don't now have more back row. He's got one. It could be the Knights, but Knights is turned off from the graveyard, so that's fine. We'll see, though, when we flip up this, if there's anything to respond to with. It is not. That is very, very good. Okay. Let's go for our Nebra Disc. Nebra Disc going to go, and I kind of want to be risky here and go for the technology. Now, this could backfire, but I do want to try and get a draw two and see what we get. Let's go, banish you. Kind of a waste, but we've got the Crystal Skull, which is very nice. That is a nice little, nice little plus there. Let's go, Crystal Skull. Send it to the graveyard to go and search out for our Ice Dragon's Prison. Okay. Now, this is the benefit of Vimana, because we can now go play Vimana, and yes, we're wasting Vimana this turn, but we're going to go and make our, you know, our Vimana stronger, and then we're going to target the Crystal Skull, and now we've dodged the Ice Dragon's Prison. Your selection box staple holds no candle to my super air from a main box. There we go. Let's go for the Moai. Let's go again and send to the graveyard another copy of the Machu Mech. Why not? Let's go for you. We could go for Utopia, but not really been feeling it. I've not used Utopia Lightning as much as I thought I would do in this deck, but it has come up maybe once or twice. But overall, you've got Vimana, you've got enough damage on board. Let's go in 3,000 into this one. And there is something had. No, there isn't. Okay, very good. And then let's go for... We're just going to let it go back to the deck. That's fine. Not wasting on the gate. 26 to the dome. There we go. Let's go on to game four, but actually our game three. K from Taiwan. Let's see what we can do. We've got a Trey versus Trey Chronomaly mirror match potentially. Oh boy. And we're going second, which is not very good because he can shut down on Nebra Disc. He's playing the light. <laughs> it's pretty likely that it's Chronomaly as well. What a potential way to finish off the video, right? And we've opened really well, thinking about it. We've got Tusk Rocket, which can bait out on the gate. We've got two Moais. It just depends on if he does go for a Barrage Blast himself. Going for the Nebra Disc, going to be searching out. He's playing a, what, 2019, 2021, 22 card deck. Okay. So, I'll have to check this afterwards, see who's playing. See if uh, see if those ratios 
make more sense than mine. Adding the Moai, so he's got the basic combo, which is kind of obvious. Here comes the Moai, and here comes the skill. Okay. So that to me means there's not a second Moai in hand, right? Because you'd kind of go all in in one go, I think. Here comes the Vimana, your monster effect negation. And here comes three back row, and there comes my loss. Sets one, do not be Barrage Blast. Please don't be Barrage Blast. You thinking about it? Okay, only one. That is fairly doable. And there's a Lance. Okay, we're, we're, we're golden now. Let's go for our Tusk Rocket. And we can then go and ditch the graveyard, our Nebra Disc. And he's not going to do that. Right, okay, there we go. Make you weaker. You don't negate here. Okay, very good, very good. So, you do negate this though. Now, does this negate the activation or just the effect? Right, this negates the activation. Okay, so this would turn off, well, wouldn't turn off the Lance. So, we'll see. He's not going to, okay. Right, let's also summon out our Moai and just show him that we've got, you know, we've got the potential for a very beefy uh, XC summon. We'll go and send to grave our own copy of this and then we'll just go and summon into our first Chronomaly Vimana. Let's go one, let's go two, summon you to AMZ. And we've, no, we, we've now not got Lance Protection, which is not great, right? If he's got a bottomless or something, which he doesn't seem to have, but we'll see. Now here, we could go for the Martian Mech and this would deal a decent chunk of damage, right? Well, it, it, meh. not really, you know, <laughs> no, not really. So let's just go for a second copy of the mana, and we can't play our Lance, so we're kind of just got to set and pass here. Well, not set and pass, but let's go Lance, let's set you, and we're on the upper hand here. So we can attack in, pray there's not a Mirror Force, right, and he's just going to let it go through. Or is he going to actually play the effect to gain attack points? Because can he negate my negate? That is the question. I... I think he can. But, like... Because <laughs> that... It does then waste his materials as well. So he's going to negate... My negate. Which is fine. So I'm going to... Toggle back on. That's okay. Because in damage calc... I should also be able to then... Buff my guy... With his own effect. Right, yeah. Doing this... Gonna make this gain attack points. There's so many Vimanas on the field. We're gonna target our Machu Mech. We're gonna equip it and hopefully just deal a bunch of damage, right? Deal 800. Go through, please. Forbidden Lance. Oh, that is so spicy. Um, sure. Uh, I'm gonna play my second Vimana. And we're just gonna make you gain even more attack points. <laughs> and this should just, just work, right? You know. It's so scuffed, but it works. 26, and we've got enough for one negate, but now we're gonna preemptively play off mana. We're not, we're gonna win. There we go. Chronomaly vs. Chronomaly, I'm the better player. Let's go on to the deck list. So this is the list we're running. It's pretty straightforward Chronomaly, right? You've got your three copies of Moai, you've got your one copy of the Crystal Bones, because I think that is the only card. No, we can't get three, okay. That, that, that's fine. Uh, two of the Crystal Skull. Now, I've seen some people, a lot of people, play three, and I get why you would do that, right? Because if you open two of them, it's still a full combo. But I feel like more often than not, I want to see these two more, and so that's why we're playing two. And of course, back row wise, it was a toss up, right? Book of Moon or Lance. Potentially in this meta game, right? Book of Moon might be better because you can then book your Dingusus and things like that, but I think just protecting your bodies is way, way better. And uh, I've only got one copy of the compulsory. But if I had more copies, I would probably play that in place of another Lance. And X deck wise is pretty straightforward, right? Two names of each because I didn't pull three copies of Imana and the Utopia package, which is nice when it comes up, but it doesn't come up much, right? So it's good, but not that great. Now overall, is this deck any good? And I'd say yes, but the thing that's holding Chromely back so much at the moment is there's no built in removal for back row or cars on the field. Right, there's none of that. Now you have got your Shoto Hayak, which can remove monsters, but only in your turn. And the skill is 
by far the most fair skill in Duel Links, right? Send a card from your deck actually to the graveyard, modulate levels, it's good. But it's not as good as other skills, right, that play the deck for you, like Phantom Knights or whatever, or Odd Eyes, that just like give you free scales, give you a bunch of stuff. It's a very, very fair skill for a deck that I think might need a bit more of a push to just be that much better. And the good news is there's more cards I can get in a TCG that can actually bring the deck up. Maybe not to a tier 1 level, but to tier 2, I'm pretty confident in. And it'll be cool to see. I do enjoy this deck quite a lot. Leave me your thoughts down below. I'll see you all in the next Duel Links video. See you then.